Hey everyone, today I'm going to be mixing some slime and Crayola's Model Magic again because I've just had so much success and so much fun doing so. But instead of using a slime made of glue and borax, I'm going to make my slime using cornstarch and white, or sorry, clear dish soap. So as you can see, I'm putting that in here. It is almost a one-to-one -one ratio, so I used just a quarter cup of cornstarch and uh, I added the soap just to get the right consistency and you'll notice that it is almost the same amount. I do it more by feel, but if you need to measure it, that's fine too. And again, if it gets too sticky, add a little bit more cornstarch or if it's too dry, add a little bit more glue. Once it's almost all mixed up with your spatula or spoon, I actually find it quite a bit better if you use your hands and you can really get it all mushed up together and it turns into a nice creamy sort of texture, almost like Play-Doh actually. And I'm going to add some food coloring here. Today I'm going to make some purple slime, so we'll just mix that together. And while I'm mixing up you guys, I really want to say a big thank you to all those people who have been watching our videos and supporting us and providing us with feedback to make better videos. And if you guys have any requests or suggestions for videos, we'll try our best to create them and see if we can make your uh, requests happen. So you guys can write those in the comments of any of our videos. So as you can see here, after mixing it quite a bit, my slime, silly putty, whatever you want to call it, is nice and smooth, nice and soft, and has a nice purple hue to it. So. Now, just for fun, I'm going to add sand and see how that turns out. And for those who are wondering, I find sand really adds a different texture to all the slime and silly putty that I make. So I'm always curious to see a different sort of recipe or a different sort of texture that I can make. It takes a while to mix the sand in. You might think it doesn't work at first. You can sort of see it breaking apart. But again, just like the beginning, you want to be patient and take the time to mix it in very well. Okay, so here's my cornstarch soap slime with sand. I probably added about a quarter cup of sand as well, and it, the funny thing is that you can almost barely tell, but the texture is quite different. You can also put less in if you want to keep that sort of smooth feel a bit more, um, but I'm really happy with how this turned out, and it is almost like a kinetic sand, so it's full of sand, but it obviously is shapeable and movable as well. Awesome! Okay, so like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm going to try mixing this in with some Model Magic as I've done in my previous videos and it's actually turned out quite well. So I'm curious to see how the cornstarch soap recipe um, works with the Model Magic. You have to be careful with this Crayola Model Magic because I find depending on what you put in it, it just completely changes it. It might be too watery or too soft or too sticky. So I'm just going to grab probably about the same amount as my... Um, stuff that I just made and we're gonna see what happens here.
So for this, again, just stay patient with mixing it together. At first, I wasn't sure that they were gonna mix at all, but I just kept on mixing, 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 and eventually it actually turned out to something quite fun. So again, it actually makes the model magic quite stretchy, just like in my previous videos with slime. So I was really hoping that it would do that, and it did. And one thing that I found interesting actually is that it turned all the sand crystals or sand rocks um, clear. So it actually took the purple color out and I found that to be quite interesting. You can see that on this video. Thank you so much everyone for coming to watch our videos. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, share, like the video, and of course, comment with any feedback. And we are so happy to hear whatever you have to say. And again, if you have any suggestions for videos, please do so tell us and we'll try our best to make them.